everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Cantata. It is a... I'd almost call it a 4X strategy game, but it uh, it's organized in a more... Honestly, I would say it's actually a lot closer to a uh, like an RTS, but it's turn-based, and it's got a really slick art style. Like, all of these little illustrated vignettes uh, to show each of the chapters, like, they look great, the unit portraits, uh, all of this stuff. Chapter 1... The Shotar of Mars. The Shotar of Mars, your heir to a mighty dynasty reaching back countless eons. Uh, pursuit of the machine traders has led you to the abandoned colony planet Shoal. Finish off Vashti once and rid the galaxy of her scourge so that the rain may once again inspire peace throughout the galaxy. Melt them to slag. Wow. Okay. This is neat. Seven warships. Seven each, one loaded with enough troops, ammunition, and fuel to mount an assault on any system within three jumps of here. By the crowded heavens, the machines could take Jupiter with a force that size if they were quick enough. They muster all that power and bring it to where? To a backwater planet like Shoal. A colony full of bright-eyed frontier yokels that didn't even make it a year out here. Why? I thought Vashti was supposed to be some tactical genius. What is she thinking? She's not thinking anything, Executive, because she's not a person. She's a malfunctioning home appliance with delusions of grandeur. Who knows why she has chosen to bring her clicking, whirring hordes to this place rather than... F wait, to this rather provincial place. The reign of harmony and prosper has beaten her on three planets now. I intend to make this a fourth. And unlike those other foolish commanders, I won't let her slip away this time. You shouldn't be careless, sire. I heard the last person to underestimate Vashti's strength was her owner. May he find peace in the hereafter. Executive? Yes, sire? Speak to me again in such a manner and I will have you shot. I'm certain, certain the company here has another officer they can send to protect their investment here, don't you think? Yes, sire. My apologies. And the Shotar of Mars, scion of a family that has ruled from the peaks of Olympus Mons for untold generations. We have crushed would-be kings, cunning usurpers, throngs of nameless rabble, and every other manner of upstart. The only difference is that the heads of th these traitors will not rot when I spike them atop my palace. Ensign, has the vanguard made landfall yet? Yes, sire. Commence the assault. So, absolutely lovely stylistic illustrations. But the actual gameplay itself is this really hyper-saturated pixel style. It's really neat, actually. Okay, so I did one of the two tutorials and then ran out of time and don't have enough to go through and uh, play the second one. It seemed like it was going to be more advanced. So we're going to play this by ear. I got the basics, I just don't have the rest. So the game works based off of a territory system. Um, if you notice, I have this, uh, this territory grass, landing zone. I can build one out of three building. Uh, I have one out of three buildings built here. I don't know what weight and movement necessarily mean, but I'm sure we'll get one, get them once we end. Uh, yeah. I, I will understand once I get going. So we've got a bunch of different things I can make. Uh, tower transports are... Is it actually a tower? It looks like it's got treads. I wonder if I can move it. But effectively, at the cost of five supply, I can summon a tower full of four conscripts to dump down wherever I want. It's tempting. But I don't think I'm terribly interested in it at the moment. We have surge moves, but I don't want to do that either. We don't have anything to mine, which is a bit of a downside. So support infrastructure that allows you to extend your vision range and detect hidden threats nearby. Interesting. Mining facility, garage, engine factory, refinery, and a tower transport. Unfortunately, I can build none of these. Uh, or I can benefit from almost... Wait, no, no, no. I totally can. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to build a refinery and an engine factory. And I'm going to put them here. Keep a nice grid going. And we'll up this. So that's going to cost me two supply per turn to get these two running. Uh, currently, not that helpful, and we definitely need to resupply somewhere at some point. There's also a tech tree, which I'm very interested in, and I don't actually know. I think this is just how you unlock stuff. Yeah, 
So engine factory and a refinery gets us the rickshaw and the garage. But engine, refinery, and arms factory all together make engineering in the hangar. So I can get griffin cannons and the hangar. And then I don't... I, I, I don't know. I'll figure like half of this stuff out once we get going. Like I said, I only played part of this... Uh, Part of the tutorial for this let's see so what do we have transforms into an encampment encamped conscripts better defended and better range interesting so i can actually have them bunker down if i want to well i guess i can can actually mess with some stuff so i also have a resource up here called action points like uh most games you have a limited amount per turn they come back every turn thing is you can use them to build extra buildings uh which i'm not sure how that works exactly uh, but I can also have them do surge actions, so I can tell this car, truck, rickshaw, to do an extra move. Now, I think I can only do that once per turn per unit, so not that helpful here. But this guy, on the other hand, is useful. Uh, let's see, do I have enough energy? I do not. There's also a fire here and wreckage, which is a little concerning. One way or another, I'm going to pop down that banner and we're just going to keep looking around. Those things, they came out of the trees, like wild creatures, like walking nightmares. Everyone, everyone's gone. Someone get the soldier back to the front lines. Wow. Dude is legitimately freaking out, and the Shotar just does not care. All right, so I'm gonna roll up. What is this thing? Colonists truly have the str have the strangest customs, don't they? Okay, so we're gonna wait. What? Oh, not enough AP to unload. I see. Okay, what about you? I don't know about the fire, and we can't surge move. Oh, but he can still attack. That's his. That's his benefit. I don't think I have anything else that I can do at the moment. And I could build another structure here, but I'm already burning resources. Oh. Well, here, here come the builder drones. Okay, so I'm going to move this guy up. Machine sighted, sire. Warriors of the 111th Reign of Harmony and Prosper, destroy them. Okay. Do I... Can I do a surge attack? Oh, this guy doesn't have the ability to surge attack. I could have him surge move. I'll figure it out. Okay, for now, we're just going to unload this guy. Shoot that, whatever this thing is. However, I'm going to get a flag down. The reason why I want to get a flag down is we need... Uh, let's see. Mine resources from the planet Shoal. So I, I have to put it on both of these. I guess I'll just put it on that one. Can I get another? Uh, no. Looks like I've got a cooldown of four turns before I can get another one of those. Alright. Uh, let's see. End turn. Unless I want to get, like, a garage down. Because I can't build it here. This territory is tapped out. If you notice, like I said, there's a little 3 out of 3 just below landing zone. That means I'm kind of hard locked on what I can uh, build per zone. So I'm going to do that. And it's going to slowly start moving some resources from here into this. And I can start making some extra rickshaws. I kind of prefer the term buggy over rickshaw. Rickshaw... Isn't that like the pull cart or the like bike cart thing? That conscript is going to get absolutely wrecked, isn't he? No, he didn't die. Okay, can I build one of these? No. We're a little ways off on that. Well. I'm going to move that there. Whatever the shrine is... Don't care in the, in the moment too much. 
but we want to we want to get this a lot closer to offer extra support because otherwise this guy's going to get wrecked uh, i probably should have had him uh, dig in a while back now here's the other question i could do a tower transport only cost five might not be a bad idea There we go. Oh, he can't, he can't attack. Not enough range. Dang. Well, one way or another, we have a second group. And this guy didn't die. I don't know if I can heal them, unfortunately. Oh, I see. He just couldn't attack because he didn't have enough. Oh, heal unit. Okay, so I can... I can heal with this thing. Good to know. Well, if my enemies are coming from this direction, then I want my forces to be here at least to some degree. Uh, let's see. How else are we doing? Can I build another mining facility? No. There's the radio column. Still kind of don't care. Rain supply node. Allows you to connect distant supply types together. Oh, interesting. So if you're linking multiple regions together, you'd have to put one of these down as kind of like a... Ah, uh, gosh. A relay, that's the word. I don't know why. Couldn't think of it immediately. Uh, let's see, anything else? No. We've got the machines coming for me, but I definitely have more firepower than I did prior. Okay. And there is whatever this is. That walker in the center. Its legs are shot to pieces. They must have been unwilling to leave one of their own behind. It's almost... Foolish. Idiotic. Weak-willed. Precisely my thoughts, sire. Broken Samson. Are we the baddies? Oh, we are 100% the baddies. We're going to just destroy the remains, and then we're just going to end turn. So, you might be wondering why I'm doing the campaign mode over the skirmish mode. Skirmish mode is usually a better mode, in my opinion, to show off a game. However, uh, on the flip side, I feel like uh, the campaign mode is really important. I love these illustrations. They look so cool. I, I've never seen anything quite like it. It's equal parts like Art Deco and something completely different. And I'm not entirely sure how to describe it, but... I. I can't stop, like, wanting to see more of it. There's a small machine base up ahead, sire. What are you waiting for? Attack! Okay. I'm gonna slowly just move this thing forward. I could dump some more dudes. We might as well do both, and then have the tower transport follow behind. Uh, let's see. Looks like it can also make another rickshaw. Doesn't look like it can move on this turn, though. Uh, let's see, and have you shot the thing? Keep shooting the thing. Ow. 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 Oh! That did an attack of opportunity. That's rude. Let's see, we've got more of that. I'm just gonna kind of move my guys up. We'll just destroy whatever that scrap is. I wonder if the tower can specifically heal my rickshaw. Maybe. Okay, go back here, keep shooting this, and can I build... A mining facility. I can on the next turn. I wasted too much AP. Not that I'm really in dire need of resources at the moment. Okay, I can have it surge move. But that's silly. Okay. And I might want to have one of these guys bunker in, maybe. 
we'll be fine for a bit. Anything else? I don't know if I have any others. You bring down the machines. Oh. Inspect the shrine. In the distance, Shoal weeps. Okay, so I guess just shooting it is meaningless. Yeah, there's a whole alien faction that we don't have access to yet. Well, access to? We're not fighting them yet, at the very least. Okay. I'm gonna bunker down. Alright, now that I've been properly burgered, where are we at? How many of my guys have even attacked? He's attacked, he's attacked, they've attacked. This can't do anything because I need 4 AP to heal. This guy is slow. And has this guy attacked? No. There we go. I don't know if breaking the shrine is such a good idea. But I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Let's just shoot this sucker. If I can. Oh, I see. Out of range. There we go. So got some AP. Oh, okay, so it heals all nearby units for only one. Still useful to note, though. Okay, how else are we doing? Looks like there's more to this area than I thought there was. The map actually goes for quite a ways. Uh, let's see. Right. I did build, did build another one of these. Can I? No, it doesn't look like it can burst move. Or burst move, surge move. Alright, anything else? I like how the icon for Shoal is just a frog. I, I kind of feel bad about this. Not gonna lie. Let's see, I don't know how injured any of these are. Oh. And I can't heal that often. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and these things can attack. The heart. Attacks for two damage. I'll have to keep that in mind then. Because we might, we might actually want to follow the tech tree. Oh, player level not high enough. Well, that's good to know. Can I just drop another of these kind of wherever I want? Looks like it. And yes, I can in fact heal the recon rickshaw. Rad. Well. That was not helpful. At least I can, I should be able to just break it. Perfect. Shame about the rickshaw, but whatever. I'm just gonna unload dudes. So the real question is, how much HP does this have? A lot. So in that case, maybe what we do is we start scouting further out this direction. Because this pipe, these cables, there's probably a way to break them. Okay, what about up here? Nope. Actually, just the edge of the map. Makes sense, actually. I guess I'm going to end turn. It doesn't look like the, uh, it doesn't look like they're coming to attack me, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Can I get a mining facility here? No, of course not. That's ridiculous. Why Why would I be able to do such a thing? Uh, I guess I'm just going to start bringing this guy back slowly. Okay, I can make another one. Let's just start going down here.
Yeah, it doesn't look like there's an easy way for me to do this. I don't... That was a mistake. Or it didn't shoot at me? Ooh. Okay, recon rickshaws are a little bit more vulnerable than I thought they would be. If I do this... No. Let's just take all, out all of these. I guess I'm going to move forward. Maybe the heart doesn't attack. I guess it doesn't. It implies that it does. But I guess at the moment, it doesn't have that capability. I'm going to start just wailing on this one. Let's see. Can I move him here? I can. Well, let's be a little closer. Okay, anybody else that can't move? No, but we do have the towers. These guys only have a couple of HP. Wow. My conscripts are flimsy. Okay, I think most of these guys have done their job. Let's really move this down. Start moving this guy down, not that it matters too much. Unit attacked, enemy spotted. I don't know if there's a... Oh, there's population limit. Okay. Stop hitting my rickshaw. Let's see, is this one not injured? At least not injured enough. Shoot that. Because I can just shoot him. Perfect. Now that's remnants. Move him closer. Because, yeah, currently it doesn't seem like the hearts are aggressive. And I can also just sh throw large quantities of dudes. Eventually, I'd probably like to get artillery or something. Just because. But that'll be for later. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Yes. Because we've got one more rickshaw. And we've got these guys. Anything else? Okay, we've got another crawl bot. I don't think he can actually make it. Cherubin. Interesting. I'll have to pay attention to how the robots are named. It feels like they might actually have some really interesting naming conventions. There we go. So we level up. We gain one extra AP. And... Oh, I've got to be level three if I want to build, like, the arms factory. Alloy supply line. That supply line. We have more if I wanted to, but I don't think I care that much. How's this doing? Capped out. Got to work on that a bit. Uh, let's see. Well, if I can't do anything else... Then I guess the real answer is start keep breaking these hearts. Let's see. That can't do anything. Oh, is this guy? Not wounded. That thing's wounded. And this guy's still lightly wounded. He's attacked. Has he attacked? Now he's attacked. Right. They can still move. He's attacked, he's attacked, he's attacked. Have you moved? No. And then there's the one straggler that I had hanging out up here. Who can't do too much. This is taking a while. It's a little unfortunate. Oh. Yeah, 
what is taking so long? Sire, our warriors appear ill-equipped to handle such, entrenched such an entrenched defensive position. Blithering fools, have they no imagination at all? We could perhaps provide assistance to help speed things up? Ugh, very well, prepare an orbital drop. All right, got the bombard. So now these things have started fighting back. I love the illustration for this guy. Oh. So the bombard can only move and attack. Can't do anything. Can I just end turn? Oh, you can also just press spacebar. Cool. Well, I can't do anything here while these things are here. And I guess I could like rush in and try and fight a couple of them. But I think I'd rather just utilize this. And stay out of the damage zone. Okay, move these here. Heal them up. Keep working on this recon rickshaw. Are these other guys actually wounded? I can't move. Not that it really matters, but I might as well heal up if I can. Okay, so this has 7 HP. So what I'm going to do, hit it one more time and then just roll in with the rickshaws to finish it off instead of waiting another two turns. Plus, I kind of want to see what's in that other region, if I can. Well, that's also a benefit. Apparently, this thing has more HP than I thought. However, I can do hit and run surge attacks, which is something I hadn't really thought about. I must have miscalculated. Oh, well. We now have access to a whole near, new tier of tech. So we have Arms Factory, Research Headquarters for Advanced Weapons, required for the Grand Bombard, Engineering, produces the Griffin Cannon, and another HQ. Oh. I guess we got it. See, this recon rickshaw is fine. This place is so lush. When we're done here, perhaps even a resort, or perhaps a resort would turn profit. On failed colony planets, I always expected something dreary, like volcanic gases or glass storms. Let's see. I'm just gonna move that forward. In retrospect, one thing I can do that I haven't bothered with is I can actually load this thing with two guys. And that's probably what I should have done. I'm going to take this guy head south. I'm pretty sure we also built another jeep. Okay, while we're here, we're going to do another mining facility. I might have to break this stuff. Because we have the scrap. I don't know what I can do with used scrap. And I guess I might as well use another surge move. Can I build another one of these? Looks like it. Oh, but we don't have enough AP to build another. Boy, this is filling up maybe too much. Oh, let's see. What does this require? So, Arms Factory would net us both, maybe? Yeah, do I do engineering as part of it as well? Or, oh, Scorched Battlefield can only have a bit.
And it looks like the supply node can, in fact, continue. It's a little expensive. But if I want to build anything anywhere else... I'll put it behind the tank. Okay, there we go. At some point, I'll balance the supply lines, but I don't really care at the moment. Now can I build the mining facilities? No. Okay. Have this guy go down. This guy go here. Can I build it? No. Oh, forward planes might not allow any infrastructure. I can edit it. I can also self-destruct it to get some extra supply back. Not much, but I can. Oh, there's still a, there is still a heart here. And we also have these, finbacks. Look like they might be kind of aggressive. Looks like there's a lot of them too. Okay, I don't have enough AP to unload either of these. I'm just going to keep them kind of together for the time being. When neither of these can do anything? Okay. Anything else? No, it looks like I'm good. Okay, how much HP does this have? Something appears to be provoking them. These glorified cows dare to defy me? Okay. Roll these in, and honestly, considering everything... I might as well just dump another one of these. They're cheap as dirt. And we're just going to unload troops. Okay, anything else to do? No. At the moment, we wait. At least as far as that goes. Still not enough range to actually hit that thing. Should have kept the bombard with me. Oh, well. At least the other one doesn't seem to... Or the other set doesn't seem to be aware of my presence. Let's just do that. That hurt. Okay, and that has a ton of HP. Do this here. I have a ton of AP, so to some degree I might as well just mob it with my tower transports and start spamming heals. Ah, but I gotta level up another time before I can actually get further. Oh. Finbacks are coming for me. And they're going for my tower transport. It's okay. Overwhelming firepower wins the day. Feels like that that's the only way this empire actually gets anything done. Just throw enough guns at it and it'll it'll go away. There goes that one. He can't do anything. Let's see. I guess I might as well just move this one back. Do another heal. Interesting, the tower transports can't heal themselves. Kind of good to know, actually. All right, end turn. Here comes. Well, rip that dude. wonder if at some point, if I can actually increase my conscripts armor even just by one. I guess the entire point is though that that's why you're supposed to entrench them. Oh, he's already attacked. That would be why. All right, it dead. Okay, bombard. One more shot will take that area. 
All right. Anything else? No. Uh, let's see. You know what? We've leveled up. We get some other stuff. Now, please tell me I can build the mining facilities here. Yeah, so I think the real answer is just this region can hold nothing. And that's the issue. Well, might as well do a heal and send the rickshaw out. There's got to be another set of enemies around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, there is. Another machine base ahead, sire. This is Vashti's res resistance. Clean them from the ground they stomp on. There we go. I'll definitely say the campaign mode is a little slow, but I think it kind of works. It reminds me of a lot of other 4X strategy games. Uh, but with the sensibilities of an RTS, I think I said that before, but I don't entirely know. I might have been uh, describing the game to my dad. There, in the trees. Some kind of aggressive local fauna. Those will have to go before we bring any tourists here. This thing's gonna get wrecked, ain't it? That's a lot of not friends. Which is a bit of an issue. I'm a little disappointed that these actually requires, wait, region level. Some units can only build in certain region level. If uh, region level is one, the region must be owned by the player. If zero can be built in a neutral region. Oh, that's interesting. But yeah, I'm assuming there's no way that I can upgrade the forward planes further. Unless it built like an HQ. No. Dang. It was worth a shot. That's a lot of builders. I might get smoked here. I'm definitely going to take some damage. Oh boy. They really don't like me. And I bet if I drive away, it's done so. Yup. Boy, that was rough. Attack of Opportunity is one of my favorite mechanics in Dungeons and Dragons, but it is definitely a little painful to be on the receiving end of. Uh, let's see. Can I build more of these? Yes. I gotta remember to be building them on a turn-by-turn -turn basis. Uh, let's see. So they're gonna destroy that. Oh. Or they're not going to realize I'm here. Well, that's kind of useful. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to entrench a bunch of these dudes. If they come for me, I'll have to destroy them judiciously. Okay, and I can make another Grand Bombard. If and when I need to and want to. Let's see, that'll probably get in, but yeah, not so bad. Dang about the whole can't, uh... Can't grab resources in this area. Oh, pop population cost too. Oh, we're capped out. I guess we should start having... Some sacrifices. I bombard, rude. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, and this cherubim, uh, cherubim needs to go. Cherubin, cherubin. There we go. I haven't taken too much damage. How much HP does this? 
Squiggle Monster have? 21? Okay. That's rough. And I'm still not sure about all this scrap on the ground. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Rude. You know how expensive it is for me to repair those? Okay. Well really expensive so much as it's a time thing. Oh, the octopus only has three. We must have wandered into its hunting ground. Better keep an eye out next time. And better keep two eyes out, or four eyes, however many it had. Okay, I'm gonna move the recon rickshaws up. I want them to be taking the damage rather than my, uh, my grand bombard. Because they can still take the hits. There we go. I should be able to make at least a couple of these. Oh, but my pop cost is still capped out. Oh, the downside to having all of my... Uh, let's see. Downside to having all of my dudes entrenched back here is that I pretty much cannot use them for at least a while. Oh, good. Here's one that can still fight. Now, the units seem to level up, too. Interesting. Oh, at level 3 it gets extra HP, and at level 4 it gets extra armor. Interesting. I like that. I like the fact that units can level up. That's a honestly not a very common thing. But I've been seeing it a little bit more often. Okay. I think we're good. I'm just going to start blasting that at a range. And we want to stay outside of their shooting zone. I mostly want to have kind of a, a picket fence here. Does this cost AP? No, it does not. There we go. I want to just have like a little wall to protect my artillery. If I can. I'm going to take this guy like down further and see what I can do. There's also this supply node. Build unit to storage. Advanced engines. That's interesting. Oh, I see. Ki kind of. Unfortunately, I can't build anything else. I could potentially tear some things down once I have enough resources for it. Which isn't the worst idea. Ah, uh, but I can't get rid of anything anyway. I was gonna try and build like a tank or artillery. Okay, I'm just gonna back off. We've seen them. But I didn't go far enough. Okay, here we go. Because we're just going to roll both of these in, shoot it, and then bail. There we go. Kind of same deal as before. Move the entire fight line over. If they're going to come for me, I might as well be somewhat ready. I should probably also be much, much more aggressive about healing. There we go. 
but for now it's fine. Okay, can you shoot? Yes. And I can take these recon rickshaws, roll in, and just take a pot shot. It's not huge, but it means next round of the round after that, I'll be able to take it out. If I can get one more rickshaw in the area, we can actually do some serious harm. Ow. And of course it doesn't have enough. It's fine. Move these over. I mean, all in all, we're doing decent. It's definitely... I, it's definitely slow relying on siege tank tactics. Uh, let's see, it's got 4 HP. I'm just gonna end turn again. Okay, I'm gonna put this conscript right here. Same thing with these guys. Because they get a shit ton of HP. Uh... Or not? I was under the impression they would get like a ton of HP. But I guess I was wrong. I, it's fine. Got a second group coming in and more Jeeps. Do I have a third Jeep? Or a fifth jeep? No, but I do have this guy. I really should have been moving him this entire time. I almost kind of wish you could give them multi-turn orders. Just telling them like, hey, uh, you know, I need you to go over this. Uh, like, go over here and it's going to take a while. Well, that worked and it didn't work. Yeah, interesting. Didn't give them the max HP this time around. Oh, and this guy, this guy actually leveled up to get the first health perk. Oh, and different conscripts have different perks associated with the, with them and their levels. Still oof on the whole encampment thing. I think that might be a bug, being uh, like going back and forth between encampments and knots. Uh, let's see, arms factory, and yeah, there's engineering. Because we don't actually have the ability to make the Grand Bombard. We either have to do it over here, buildable units. There's also like the ceremonial temple, but it requires some kind of spear thing. Ah, Sublime Forge makes it. Then there's the Hand of the Rain. Gunworks. Oh. Gunworks is how we make the Grand Bombard. So in that case... I see. I need AP. I'm just going to get rid of that one. And try and build this. Oh, the only immediate problem is... I didn't actually make enough of those. Wait. Oh! Of course! I have this. Okay, so this needs engines and the big crate. But this doesn't have any valid slots. Okay, I'm going to turn this one off for the time being. There we go. Okay. So we might not be able to make the bombards, but I should be able to make the tank in a couple of turns. 
if I need to. I understand that now. Uh, let's see. For now, though, I guess I can shoot. I guess I'm just going to move over here. Bombard that. There we go. Oh. Maybe not. Here, I'm just going to move that forward. I'm going to keep healing this guy if I can. Or I can't. You know what? I give up. We're almost done with this anyway. I'm going to end turn. Here's my logic. I only see one more violent, like, foe here. Let's see. So instead of uh, doing anything else. Oh. Okay, we do have another one of these. What come I call in? Uh, let's just go back. Because there's the alchemist, which I'm going to I'm going to automatically assume is probably their command structure. Yeah, he's gonna come for me, but that's fine. Looks like this map is eh, no, we're pretty much at the end of it. Unless there's more to this than I think. Which is entirely possible. Alright, you know what? Recon rickshaws to the rescue. I don't need I don't need to use this guy to fight this thing. Oops. Should be able to hit it from here. There we go. Okay, out of range. Move back one. Start hitting the alchemist. But here's the question. Do we have a valid threatened territory that I can wail on this thing from? Or valid unthreatened territory, I guess is the better way of putting it. There we go. This mission is not short, but I mean, it kind of makes sense. If you're going to have a, a slow turn-based strategy, uh, sort of art. RTS because like it still does play more like an RTS like I'm getting more command and conquer vibes from this than I am uh you know civilization for example that's a surge move that's just a regular move I guess I should aim for the wreckage just to get out of the way. Don't look like I can do any el anything else though, but that's fine. Let's just keep moving forward. But yeah, it doesn't surprise me that much that the mission takes an hour. Oh, can I make the can I make a tank? Nope. Unfortunately, I think my whole resource line is kind of bottlenecked. Oh, I see. We're not transferring any of our engines. Because this place is hoarding them. Okay, so you're sending engines to too many places. So we just want... We just want to send engines there. Does this need gas? No, it doesn't. There we go. I'm just going to focus on this for the time being. And then this has no metal plates, and I'm not sure why I would be sending them on. Wait, where do I get metal plates from? Oh. Never mind. Looks like this thing does produce metal plates. Really? Oh yeah. It does actually build supply uh, supply plating. Let's see. 
But we don't need to send any on onto this thing. Speaking of... Nope. It's capped out. Alright. I like that supply line issue. It means you can't just, uh... You can't just cheese it. Was that not the end? That was apparently the alchemist, but that was not the end. Oh boy, this just continues. Okay, well, in that case, let's start exploring. Because we've got that area there that I might be able to do something with. we got foggy woods. Visibility is low, I think. I think I saw something moving. Okay. Let's wait. Oh, hello. And then... It hurt. I'm gonna go back. So there are enemies there that are worth being aware of. How much HP do I... or AP do I have? I got a decent chunk. It's gonna take me a while. To chunk through these. That's why I needed those bombards and need that one area. That's fine. Okay, we're just gonna hit this. I might want to sack some of my like basic dudes here so I can start getting those tanks. Okay. Is the berserker gonna keep coming for me? Doesn't look like it. Kind of nice. Uh, let's see, how much HP does this have? Not too much. Uh, let's see. Keep going here. I've got plenty of... Plenty of AP to rush in. Hit him and then rush out. But I definitely want tanks to do this. But yeah, I'd like I'd like this region. It doesn't give me too much, just some supply. <sighs> Main problem is it's just gonna take a long time otherwise. I'm also really curious about its range. But I can't do anything about that at the moment. Where does this guy move? Reasonably far. But he doesn't do that much damage. Oh! I know how to fight these things now. Okay. Load both of these guys. If we can isolate them, we're safe. Because they can't actually shoot in melee. Alright, we're good. Rad. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm just going to go back here. Load this guy up. Move here. Load. Load this guy up. Okay, I know there's another one of these. These don't have as much of a safe zone as I think I'd like. I'm just going to move over here. There's more enemies. There we go. I almost wonder if the campaign mode... 
for this is actually all just set in one map and it just keeps expanding. There's no way. But there's still that... That question. Okay, move forward. Bombard him from a distance. He might still hit me, I don't know. If he does, he's gonna regret it. There we go. And I might as well keep moving one of these here. Not that there's too much. And turn again. Roll right in. We want to unload these two guys. This might take a while. But I guess that's fine. Because the berserker the berserker's not going for me. Weird. I mean Thankful what Go ghost. Thankful pays for his transgressions and dies horribly. I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, looks like there might be something up here, but there are more bad dudes. Okay, because those, those berserkers are not easy to slay. Let's keep wailing on that. Uh, let's see, what about this guy? Unfortunately, there's whatever's on that forest floor. Can I build a tank yet? No, we need one more of these. Okay. I'm going to upgrade the supply line to this. There we go. That should generate some more fuel. We are running out of supply pretty quickly. Once we get some of these bases built, it won't be so bad. Uh. That's a lot of berserkers on this temple. I guess I just have to find the second machine base. Oh, I've already found it, though. Do I shoot him? No, I'm just gonna move back and pummel him. There we go. Yeah, we've got another one hanging out in the fog. That one's almost done. Then we've got a critter here. And I'm just gonna have him roll back. Cause yeah, I can, oh, I can have him surge move and attack. Okay, he really does not like that recon rickshaw. This is why I brought a whole crew. Question. Okay, he doesn't attack me back. That's a good sign. There's something in the mist. Sire, we should pull our forces back. They can't shoot what they can't see. And disgrace the reign of harmony and prosper. Even the mightiest generals have engaged in a tactical retreat now and then. I guess the ghost is just going to hit this guy, isn't he? I mean, yeah. Like, I don't have too much of a choice. Uh, let's see. Do I want to put one of these down? Maybe. But it looks like I can't build any anything on the central plains. Which is a little confusing. I'm assuming none of these can attack, including the Grand Bombard. All right, Ghost hurt. Ghost hurt, but not too much. 
of you here. How many of you guys are actually still injured? Pretty much all of them. We might want to just set up a, a healing Kumbaya circle for a bit. And keep shooting this. I kind of want to get to the end of the mission. Uh, but it actually kind of feels like that might not be super doable. Back to this. Are you... How are you doing? It has like no gas. Okay, here's the thing. What if I, what if I shut this off? Shut this off. This has a ton of metal plates, which is what we needed anyway. We were overproducing those. I definitely should work on storage and capacities a little bit better. Seeing as that's a thing. Uh, let's see. Anything else? We got this. I know there's one more dude there. You guys attacked yet? Yeah, they have. That is going to take a while. Oh, next order of business. We also have a squid beast here. That needs to not be here anymore. Might as well heal that. I'm going to get rid of this scrap while I'm here. There we go. Four more shots. Two more turns. Oh, let's see. Can you move? Yes. Because, yeah, I might as well have these guys kind of beefed up. I don't want to send in that conscript, though. Two more turns. Eh. Which HP does this con conscript have? Enough. I have killed the octopus. Okay, one more turn there. Everything else is good. This is find the second machine base. Ah, yes, reduce them to slag. Melt them down to components. Well done, sire. Now we can follow the supply line back to the main machine base. Onwards to glory, my beautiful warriors. We can keep exploring and get a better sense of the land. By your will, sire. Take out the final one. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I think at this point, uh, I think we're at a good stopping point. This game is cool. It is very slow. Uh, which, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. It's one of those that I don't really mind the slowness. But I also r recognize that it says it's outside of range, but I think it's just, it's hiding in the mist. Unfortunately, cannot shoot at it. I'll just keep healing these guys. There we go. Those are still lightly injured. This guy is fine. Please tell me I can't make anything on any of these. Because I can slap, I can slap a royal banner down, but it might actually cost me all of my resources. Which I'm currently trying to accrue to build a tank. Oh, but I don't even have. Enough. It's fine. There's the next one. There we go. Now, does this actually increase? No, that's just vision range. I wasn't sure if that would increase their attack range, too. He might actually kill this conscript in retrospect. Let's back him off a little bit and move this forward. Oh, now they're really coming for me. Okay, well, that's a problem. Anyway, uh... One way or another, I think we've seen enough. I can keep messing with this. My desire for completion uh, is overriding my my desire to also end this episode. So, it is slow, which I think is going to appeal to some people. It's definitely not the kind of game that you're going to be able to get through a mission fast. 
But it does mean that, like, if you've got a, uh... Well, if you're big on tactics, this is the kind of thing that you're probably going to go way bananas for. Just because proper unit management means you're pretty much untouchable if you really want to be patient like that. And I love the idea of doing so. I think uh, actually doing supply chains and, and getting units together is a bit of a doozy and is something that I'd very much like to get better at because I feel like, yeah, the Griffin Cannon does three damage. That's pretty solid. Uh, I would love to figure out how to actually gather some resources because I'm just going to plant a flag down anyway. I still don't think I can mine anything on any of these because, yeah, it can only contain up to zero infrastructure. I don't know if that's an oversight or what, but it seems like it can't expand at all. And I'm not quite sure why. Uh, which is a shame because, yeah, a number of these locations seem like I could put a little micro base down, but I can't. And, oh, interesting. And each one of these that I capture also increases my uh, population cap. Good to know. Yeah, wait, forward planes. Still doesn't look like there's anything I can do about this, tragically. <sighs> Nuts. Because if I could be grabbing these resources, I could potentially build, be building all the big things. I don't know if it's an oversight, an accident, or specifically you're not supposed to be able to expand much in this this mission one way or another. But, uh, let's see. I will say Cantata is available in early access on Steam. Uh, I guess I might as well quick save to womp. Perfect. There we go. You've saved. If I exit back to main menu, cool. So... I don't think this skirmish is available yet, uh, though, again, don't know if that's an accident or an oversight or whatnot. Because uh, currently there's local, but I don't have any maps. Oh, maybe you actually have to make a scenario. Oh, that's what it is. So if I create a small scenario... Interesting. Uh, so yeah, there's a map editor if you want to mess with it. And it looks like you actually have to make your own before you can dive into the skirmish mode. Chapter-wise for the campaign, there's three different chapters, probably. First one's kind of the human, second one's aliens, third one's machines. I'm curious if you actually get to control them for each. And then there's going to be nine chapters overall. At least for this campaign mode, potentially. But either way, it's a kind of neat fusion that I'm shocked I haven't really seen before. Where it's got the, the slow, more methodical gameplay of a 4X strategy game, but the the smaller focus and limited unit pool and less macro management of a RTS and more micromanagement. It actually feels really good, you know, kind of in the same way of like Advanced Wars and some other things. And also the the art, like I, I know I was gushing about it earlier, but the art for this game is wondrous to look at and is probably my favorite part of this game. Like just the, the really hyper-saturated pixels and then the very strange graphic art style that works so well for the game. I, I gotta give Major credit for that, especially just because it stands out. It looks cool. And this will probably remain one of the more striking looking games that I've ever played. Uh, which, I don't know, I think, I think is kind of important to note. So, with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I've got tons of them to check out. But for now, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.